The city of Boston has quite the relationship with music, from classical greats to rock and roll legends. Many a band got their start in the hub, working with record labels that simply gave them a chance. When somebody says, here's $2,000 to do something for your band, it's a pretty easy yes. Maynard natives Jake Salzer and Dan Sweeney are both musicians themselves. I'm juggling a couple different projects right now. In the last few years, I've been playing with this band Oso oh Oso oh from Long Beach, New York. But at 30 years old, the two friends also run the Brighton-based record label, Counterintuitive Records. Just found a band online. They were from Berkeley called Bay Faction. And uh, they had just released their first demo, and I thought it sounded awesome. And I was like, maybe they would be interested in having it on vinyl. So they were like, what's the record label called? And I was like, oh, okay, so it's a record label. Growing up together, Salzer and Sweeney recognized they shared a passion for music. Music was a big bonding thing for us in our friend group, going to a lot of like local shows. Um, bands like Four Year Strong from Worcester and mm -hmm. Transit from Boston were big influences on us back in the early days. Yeah. As they looked into their favorite artists, they realized many of their favorite bands were all working with the same record label. We found a couple that we really liked and you just become a fan of that and whatever band that they sign, you want to check that band out. If they have a new album out, you want to check that out. Eight years later, Salzer and Sweeney have worked with about 60 artists and released 100 albums under the counterintuitive label. It's, it's a bedroom label because we've always operated out of whatever bedroom I'm living in at the time. In our old apartment, we'd have uh, pallets getting delivered to our apartment on an Alston sidewalk and mm. we'd be like breaking them down and carrying the boxes upstairs and then shipping out a couple hundred records at once where we'd have the hallway just like jam-packed with records. It's grown beyond just fitting an entire label in my bedroom because we have a warehouse now that like sends our orders out. They listen to music as any millennial would, digitally. However, the friends prefer vinyl over other media. I think we're both pretty vinyl Definitely. guys. I mean, that yeah. was a big reason to start the label is that we're just mm -hmm. vinyl fans. Every step of the way was figuring out how do you print a record on vinyl? How do you contact a venue and convince them to let you have four bands play? The two say they're still learning their way around the industry, but... It's pretty crazy. I mean, it's gone a lot further than I think yeah. any, anyone could have imagined. Jake and Dan both play bass, and in addition to scouting for talent for their label, they both play in bands of their own. As Jake mentioned in the segment, he plays for a band called Oso oh Oso, oh which recently planned to tour Japan. Meanwhile, Dan plays in a band called Old Soul. And that is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.